swag, bitch. Hello, hello, everyone. I hope you're enjoying your day, and I hope you're enjoying time working on your 3.7 liter engine. Alright, so here is the clutch fan. It might be better if I go in here. Okay, so right here, right here you can see the nut. This clutch fan is bad. As you can see, it's moving and it's going bad. Okay, now there is a special tool that you can get, but what I'm doing is I'm using a small um, old antique wrench to knock it off of the pulley. It always goes left, but a lot of people tell you, oh, you got to take this off, you got to take that off, you got to take this off, that off. But um, all you really have to take off is this shroud up front. And this shroud, this shroud is removable. It clips in down there. Right where you see that seam sticking off to the side. Right where it's right there. In the center of the screen. It unclips from there. And then on this side. Same thing. Clips on that side. So all you have to do is unbolt one. One right there and one right here. To get to that fan and then you can take your fan off or you can um you know put your clutch fan or take your fan off and just put your clutch in or whatever you want to do but for today i'm going to take the fan off after i get the clutch out so right now that's what i'm going to do and i'll try to get a video of me hitting the clutch off okay so this is my first attempt at trying to get the bolt off the thing um okay so the pulley was moving for two seconds and then the um the clutch fan just came off of it. so now all i have to do see it was this big old wrench so i didn't need a special tool for 24.99 to go rent or buy Basically now all I do is I take the clutch fan and I spin it off this way off of the the goddamn uh, thing. And it is coming off pretty decently. Clutch fan. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Came off pretty good. Yeah, so basically, I'm an idiot doing tools, but uh, basically you can see it as it came off pretty well. And as you can see down there, it was no special tool. So that was quick and simple, and now I get to do the new one. Alright, I'll get you guys back here in a little while. Hey guys, so this is after I got this sold out. I just checked my um, radiator fluid, I had to check that, and I also got to check my power steering next. Um, what I wanted to say was, the thing came out very easily. The clutch is bad, you can tell it. It's clicking and everything. Um, and somebody had a question for me why I'm recording everything I'm doing on my Dodge Dakota. Well, the reason for that being is, you go on YouTube to find something to watch to figure out something else or some other shit. Or something about your vehicle, or even to do something with. So, I'm just recording myself doing it as a schmuck or a um idiot more or less like a guy that doesn't have major tools so you can see i only have this rain range tools and something that's old and a crowbar so i'm doing this with little to none tools to tell you guys that it's either easy not easy or just gonna be a pain in the ass but, uh, yeah. So, everybody wants me to put a cold air intake on it. I don't know if that's any good. But I will find out eventually. I gotta get probably get a new air filter this year. I just redid my battery in the beginning of the year. So, yeah. And what I was talking about the other time on my videos with the hood alignment. 
Uh, I was talking about these. I have to re readjust these down or up, depending on which way they're going. And then I wanted to do something with uh, like a custom grill. So like I might buy a grill and cut these out of it, like this, and do some kind of like American flag or some kind of light bar that goes straight across here. Not too sure yet. I'm still figuring that out because back here I have a whole I have a whole frame that goes around. And it connects to here. So I was thinking maybe I could just cut that off there. Run that straight down the light bar or something. And put it right in the grill. Because you know, I mean, it's 50% of the time. You have the bumper underneath that gives air. And then you have the top that would give air. Because that doesn't really do too much. And plus you don't need that much coming in. Because when you're doing 50 miles an hour, you have an old wind blow this way. So... It's not really that big of a deal. Yeah, my headlights do look bombing. But, yeah, that's the way it came out. So, alright. I will talk to you guys later when I get the fan back on. So, so as you can see here, the I painted my fan red just so uh, one side's black, the other side's red. Um, as you can see, it's spinning on according to blueprint and demand I just have to make sure it is tight enough to where it doesn't come off and now it is tight so now I just have to um, get a hammer in there and re-put it back on and that is the end of the process pretty much the old clutch uh, I want to show you guys that uh, the old clutch is right here as you can see, this one is factory. You can see the um, sprocket is dumb in. If you twist it enough, you can feel it go from real tight to loose. And you can feel it click, which is not a good thing. So that's what's happening with that. And, um, yeah. So now the new one's in, so now I just have to put that in there. Hammer it this way. Because it's righty tighty lefty loosey on all dodges, from what I understand. And then you're all set. And then you put the clutch, uh, the fan cover back on. You're all set. All right. I will talk to you guys in another video. Have a wonderful night. Enjoy, and I hope you enjoyed this 3.7 V6 Magnum fan clutch put on. Have yourselves a wonderful night. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me